The clock is basically ticking. The in-laws are arriving in two days and this is the bathroom floor and I don't know if you can see there are saw marks in the parquet floor. Not all the boards are level and basically as you get out of the bath or as our in-laws would say out to bath you know because they're from up north you will leave well basically wet footprints all over the floor so yeah what we got is i don't know if you can read this it's osmo hard wax which is basically well it's like a clear lacquery varnish i got that off of amazon it's well it's unopened and um yeah only paid half our price for it so yeah that was a bit of a bargain so i've got the um wall and ceiling sander with some 80 grit on it and uh yeah i've used it on much rougher floors than this so yeah i'm gonna quickly give it a quick sand over to be honest it's getting a little bit late in the day now but i can't help myself i want to see what this osmo hard wax is like so i'm going to try it in a little bit of an unseen area underneath the edge of the shower just to see what it comes up like I don't want it to change the colour of this redwood floor too much. I don't want to make it too dark. So I'm going to give it a go. Oh, it's... oh, I do like that. That is, that is really, really red. Oh, that is Oh, that is glorious. Oh, I'm liking that. Oh, I'm absolutely loving that. That is a really... Almost mahogany... Oh, almost cherry, actually. Yeah. That is lovely. Oh, have you come? Wow. You come to spy? Yeah. That is nice, isn't it? Beautiful. I was a bit dubious about putting anything on that because I didn't want the colour changing, but that's gorgeous. Yeah, you caught me. Yeah. Uh, caught you playing, haven't I? You have caught me playing. I wasn't going to play tonight, but yeah, that is a uh, that is lovely, isn't it? Yeah. That kind of matches the uh, little cupboard in the corner of the room. Yeah. So. Uh, it's a bit of an unseen area at the moment, so um, if it went wrong, I can replace that little bit. Yeah. But yeah. Oh, it's lovely. Yeah, I'm not too scared now. I won't do all of it tonight. I was only going to put one brush stroke on, but there we go. Osmo hard wax. No, it's, um, yeah, I think it dries hard, but there we go. Our plans are changing by the minute. We're, I've now got to hop on a plane back to the UK pretty soon. And, uh, yeah, I've kind of waxed myself into a bit of a corner here. I've got to glue the skirting boards back down. I've got to clean the whole place down because it's filthy. Yeah. Oh, start the panic. Well, that's the floor done with the Osmo hard wax. It's come up, well, I think really nice. It's got like a soft waxy sheen. Yeah, the only problem is I've got to get out and uh, I haven't really thought 
that one through. Yeah. This is my big brother and my, <laughs> my lovely sister-in-law. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, and they're off now on their travels around yes. France, aren't you? Yeah, off to saint Emilion. Find some sunshine. On the coast to find some sunshine. <laughs> it's a little bit soggy out there. It is, moment. a little that, bit soggy. That is kind of the only... Not, not the best weather for you, was it? It's a lovely area though, isn't it? Yes. It's absolutely gorgeous around here. We'll come yeah. back in the sunshine. Perfect. Yes. And we'll have more to show you in the house as well. Yeah. Brilliant. Now, you might be asking why I've broken off from sand in the bathroom floor and come out to the garden. Now, these are the same bits of parquet, but these bits were all covered in blue paint. And uh, I've put them through the, the plane of signature. But they've got, like, loads of holes in the end and stuff like that. There's holes in the middle. And there's holes in the other end. And some of them have even been, like, tapered off at the end. But, as you can see on this bench... There's a metal strip in the end, and I'm hoping that metal strip might line up with some of the holes in the middle. Um, but we've got to go off to a DIY store and get some, you know, bolts like there, which are sort of like domed. I don't even see there. These ones have got like a domed top on them, and they're stainless so they don't rust. So we were just heading out to a DIY store, maybe we can't. And maybe get a coffee or something nice while we're out. But our friends Ten Lisa phoned and said, "Could we pop over to their chateau and help them out with a barn and something like that?" And uh, to be honest, I wasn't really listening. And uh, yeah, there's our lovely lake pond. I love sitting on this bench. I wasn't really listening. And they said something about masks, wearing masks, and, and I'm really hoping it isn't the sort of facial mud packs where you know you have to wear cucumber slices over your eyes and stuff like that i know they're not really that sort of people but yeah anyway we're, we're gonna head over in a few minutes once we've grabbed a set of clothes so yeah let's bung all this lot back inside and jump in the van mandy's just parking the van i don't know if you can guess where we are uh, let's just go and find Ted and Lisa any guesses as a lot of our close friends know we've got an awful lot going on in our personal life and when Ted and Lisa phoned us up I think it was quite pretty good timing really wasn't it yeah. and so we kind of like leapt to the chance so uh you know, we're actually in Chateau de Montmagne at the moment. And uh, yeah, so Ted and Lee's are offering us a, you know, a couple of nights stay in this absolutely magnificent chateau of theirs. You know, if I give you a quick tour round, you know, so I give you a quick look round. We're in the Jean-Pierre suite. Yeah, mm. yeah, it is absolutely magnificent, and for ten liters to let us down. I mean, we are absolutely covered in muck. We got to have a quick shower before we actually touch anything at the moment because we are pretty grubby. But yeah, it is absolutely magnificent in here, and uh, far too posh for a couple of grubby urchins like us oh, yes. but yeah he's magnificent and we are so chuffed well just to spend a couple of nights with 10 lisa yeah who'd say no to that exactly. exactly so yeah we are two very happy people at the moment oh, yes. so yeah we're with ted and lisa at the moment just spending an evening chatting we are now we have been uh, clearing out the hay barn though yeah, uh, still more to do which was that. good fun in it itself. Was, yeah, just watch Lisa fall through the floor. And that made my yeah. Well, I fell through the floor as well, but that made my day. To be honest, not me walking into the rake. That was funny as well. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, we had quite an amusing day, really. We have, we, have. we really have. Yeah. <laughs>
So, Ted and Lisa are just uh, empty of the trailer. I think we've done three loads, four loads so far. Third of the way there. Still got a good two thirds to do. It's hot work. It's keeping us fit. Um, yeah, it's good fun. <laughs> Moral of the story is, if Lisa phones, don't answer the phone. Let it go to text. <laughs> Are you joking, Lisa? Yeah. Yeah. Definitely, yeah. Definitely. And how it's not right against that wall as yeah. well because I'm sure the water comes in there. Yeah. Yeah. But this is this is you know, there's a little bit spongy in that corner. But everywhere else it's rock hard. It's great. Oh. Just looking at Lisa's barn and it as you can see this bit of wood here has got like some lines on it there and up the top that joint there has got some different markings on it and as we come across to the other side this joint here has got lots of markings on this joint here and over here lots more markings here and all the joints as we come across here have all got markings on them up there more markings again and all the joints and it's where all the carpenters have marked the joints and obviously some of these bits of wood have been reused from elsewhere like you know that one there has got a big hole in it and stuff but yeah all the joints are all like dowled and pegged together and that but these bits of wood are obviously many hundreds of years old and uh, yeah you can see where that bit of wood up there has been used from something else and you know that bit of wood has been used from something else elsewhere and again up in the ceiling up there that's obviously been used from something else and they're obviously just split bits of timber cut with an axe that you know probably might have been from a boat or anything really and uh yeah they're centuries centuries old but the carpenters marked them as they put them all together and some of the markings are actually in the middle and you can see these ones have got dowels and pegs in the middle and some of them don't line up with beams or whatever so you know this this roof has obviously you know seen a previous life and it's sat in this position for centuries as well so yeah very interesting as you peer around yeah, absolutely love it and ted is going to sit here practicing his guitar probably staring around and uh, 
have many interesting moments as well. Yeah, what a magical, magical place. Love it. On the way back from Chateau de Montmagny, we finally picked up some uh, dome headed bolts. Uh, they're 5 by 30, whatever that means. And um, yeah, that enables us to finally bolt together the bench. So we're going to give it a go. And I've roped in Mandy for a bit of help. Is it because it's on the angles? Still need to cut a varnish, but with the little river behind, it looks lovely here. Yeah. Quite tranquil. Well, that was a good couple of weeks, wasn't it? Yeah, very busy for us. Very busy for us, very different. Yeah, um, we've been back to the UK, we've done lots of jobs around here as well. We've yeah. been over the Chateau Montmagny, as you saw um so yeah we've we've been incredibly busy so yeah and uh mm. wow so yeah hectic hectic for us yes, was definitely. one word yeah, yeah so th thank you to our friends over here for yeah for helping out yeah and giving us the support yeah french community spirit is absolutely incredible yeah. and uh particularly in the last few weeks it was well, quite heartwarming, yeah. so to speak. Definitely. We don't have to single anyone out particularly, but yeah, it was quite amazing, hmm. let's say. Visitors, en visitors enjoyed themselves as well. The visitors, yeah. Uh, Although yeah. the weather could have been kinder. Yeah, the weather could have been kinder, <laughs> yeah. But yeah. um, it's picked up now. Now, yeah, now you've gone. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, summer is now here. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I'm... Um, Spending a little bit of time outside trying to get the, the garden and the veggies all sorted. Yeah. You've been tinkering away inside a little bit, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, starting to tinker now. So um, uh, Yeah, and we're going to think about our next big job. Yeah, we're supposed to be having this project planning meeting because there, there, are, there, <laughs> there are a couple of um, small, let's say, annoying little jobs, which are actually time-consuming jobs as well. Yeah. But there's this one colossal job at the back of the house which is by far the biggest project we've got to tackle so far and um it could have huge knock-on effects as well so um yes. let's, let's it needs doing it needs, it doing, needs doing before, it needs the doing bad before winter and let's just say i'm not looking forward to it at all so uh yeah whereas i am she might be but yeah <laughs> uh yeah there's that job so, oh yes. Oh yes. <laughs> yeah. So. Right. As usual, folks, give us a bit of the old like and subscribe. He does like that. I does love a bit of that. And um, we'll see you next time. Yeah. Au revoir. Au revoir. <laughs>